Please leave. You are in the alert area. Please leave. You are in the alert area. Hi, my name is Dan with ENS Security, and today I'm going to show you how to set up the active deterrence analytics on the Uniview system. Before we begin, I'd like to remind everyone, just make sure that the camera and the NVR that you have have the latest firmware and always support the feature that you want to use. So to begin, I'm going to show you how to set up the active deterrence in the Uniview system through the web browser interface. So the first thing that you want to do is open up Internet Explorer, okay? And then what you're going to do is you're going to type in the IP address of the recorder itself. So in this example, you see I have 192.168.1.240 in the URL, okay? Also want to mention, don't forget to enable settings such as ActiveX in your browser so you can utilize all the full functions. Once you type in the IP address of the web browser, you're going to see the login page of the NBR itself. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the username, admin, all lowercase, and the example password I set up was one ENS12345, okay? Once you click login, one of the first things you wanna do is of course make sure that you can see your camera, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in full screen mode and put it in master stream so I can see the, uh, the camera itself, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is go into the settings, okay? So under setup, one of the first things I wanna do is go into the client menu and then here at the bottom, you're gonna see where it says intelligent mark. You're going to click on and then you're going to click save. Again, the same thing as you did in the NVR because you want to make sure that's enabled. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to see the live analytics on the live view. Okay. Once that's done, you're going to go into the camera settings. Okay. And then under camera settings, what you want to do is go into the schedule settings and we're going to set up a recording here. So we're going to set up two schedules again under recording and snapshot. So make sure first that you select the correct camera. Okay. So here, you wanna make sure that the recording schedule is gonna be enabled on. And then, as you can see here, the schedule is back to normal, so we wanna change that to event recording. So I'm gonna go ahead and click edit. Under the edit here, I'm gonna go ahead and select from normal to event, and then select all the days that I want and click okay. Now you can see like every single day is for event recording, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and click save, and then again, you just wanna only select the camera that you're gonna record, which is D2 in this example. Now what I'm going to do is do the same exact thing for the snapshot schedule. So click on the tab, select the correct camera, okay, make sure that the snapshot schedule is on. And then again here, you see the edit, of course it's already pink, but you just want to verify by just going to the drop down menu, make sure it's event, select all the days that you want, click OK, and then you have your correct color. Then go ahead and click save. The next part is to actually set up the analytics itself. So it's going to be similar how we did it in the NVR itself. So you're going to go to the smart menu here. And then again, under the correct camera, selected D2. And then I'm gonna select the same analytics I used earlier, such as intrusion detection. So I'll check the box. Then I'm gonna go ahead and click on the gear option here. And then you can see the menu here. It's gonna be pretty much the same settings uh, as you saw in the NVR interface, but it's just gonna be oriented differently. But the same concepts still apply. So now you'll notice that the uh, active deterrence menu is at the top instead of at the bottom. But you're gonna do the same things regardless. So under the alarm sound, you're gonna enable that, and then again, select one of the messages that you want. So we're gonna go ahead and select the same one, okay? And then the repeat, uh, I'm gonna select, let's say, five times, so the message is gonna repeat five times. Then the alarm light, which is the strobe light, I'm gonna select however many seconds, so I'm gonna select 10 seconds. And the brightness level, I'm gonna adjust that according to the lighting environment, okay? Once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and draw an area, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and select draw area, and then I'm gonna go ahead and try to create something similar to what I had before in this uh, walkway area. So you're gonna left click with your mouse, then you're gonna go left unclick at each point, okay? And then again, keep in mind that if you do mess up, it's okay to erase it and you can redraw it again. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and create this enclosure area. Once that's done, you're gonna see the number of the uh, rule labeled here, okay? So you click finish drawing, okay? And then again, what you're gonna see here, uh, you have the sensitivity, time threshold, and percentage. At this point, I'm only, uh, uh, I only want the sensitivity, so I'm gonna go ahead and increase that, okay? And then for the snapshot object, I'm gonna go again, select pedestrian, because we only care about detecting people at this point, okay? And then again, at the arming schedule, of course, make sure that's enabled for all the days that you want. Click okay. 
trigger actions. Again, I mentioned that you want to make sure it's set up for the recording, which it is by default, but you always want to verify. And then all these other features are optional, okay? Once I'm done there and I confirm everything, you can select copy to whatever channels that you want and hit save, okay? Once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the live view by clicking at the top here. And I'm gonna go ahead and make it into a single view mode, master stream. And now you can see on the live view, you have the analytics rules already shown, okay? So now we're gonna demonstrate this in action. As you can see, a person is slowly walking towards the detection area and with a green box detecting him. Okay, now that box just turned red. That means that it picked him up and the actor deterrence siren and the message scared him off. So let's go ahead and see if it picked him up in the playback search. So let's go to smart. Under smart, you're gonna to go to VCA search. Okay, and then we're gonna select the camera. Okay, and then the event type will be uh, intrusion detection because that's what we set up. Object type will be pedestrian. We're gonna hit search. And now you can see here that you see him with a black LA baseball cap. Select the checkbox, hit play. If you wanna maximize the view, click the double arrow button. Now you can see him walking towards the detection area. So he just got surprised by the notification and he just ran off. And then that's how you do it. And now I'm gonna show you how to set up the active deterrence settings in the NVR interface itself. So one of the first things I like to do is once I have the camera added, I like to make sure I can see the live view in full screen mode, okay? Once I do that, then I'm gonna go in the main menu itself and then adjust the settings. So one of the first things I'm gonna do is go to the system menu. Now here at the bottom, you're gonna see a little checkbox called Intelligent Mark. Always make sure that's checked and enabled because if you don't do that, then you're not gonna be able to see the live analytics on the live view itself, okay? So make sure that's checked. Go ahead and click Apply. Once you're done there, you're gonna go ahead and click on VCA, okay? That's where you're gonna set up the actual uh, active deterrence analytics itself. So you're gonna make sure the camera's selected, okay, the correct one, and then you're gonna select a rule of your choosing to go ahead and trigger the analytics. So in this example, I'm gonna select intrusion detection, which is pretty much an enclosed area. If you watched our past videos, check that box, and then go ahead and click on the little gear box here. Okay, so now I'm gonna adjust the settings from top to bottom. So I'm gonna start with the trigger actions, okay? And then one of the first things you wanna verify is the recording, which is the most important. Make sure that's selected on the right camera, which it is by default. And all these other options here like buzzer, send email, pop-up window, they're optional, okay? So just adjust it accordingly. Go ahead and click OK. Then I'm gonna go ahead and go with the arming schedule here and then make sure I have all the days that I want selected. Click apply and click OK. Then under advanced here, you're gonna see different object types to detect uh, from motor vehicle, non-motor vehicle, and pedestrian. And you can see you can select a maximum, minimum size that you can adjust them. But here I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and leave that as the default and click apply. Okay, once I'm done, I'm gonna go ahead and draw in a detection region. So right now, if you see this live view, uh, the area where people are gonna pretty much walk is this little concrete area here. So I'm gonna draw an intrusion detection area around that. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on draw on the first rule. And then uh, just keep in mind that if you don't like the area that you're drawing, you can always erase it and then redraw again, okay? So I'm gonna left click on my mouse and then left click to end the points where I want. Okay, I'm gonna try to be as accurate as possible. Okay, so once that's done, you're gonna see a little number here for the rule number one, so that means it's uh, done. Then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, adjust different settings here. So for example, sensitivity. If I increase the sensitivity, that's gonna pick up objects a lot easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and just increase the slide bar to the maximum. Other options here you can see is time threshold, percentage. Uh, those are optional. So for example, if I want to uh, increase the amount of time that someone stays on the area, then that's when it's gonna be picked up. But other than that, you can just leave it as default, okay? Next is the snapshot object. So what do you wanna pick up? So in this example, this area here, I'm gonna be only picking up people or pedestrians. So I'm gonna just check that box. Then down here, you're gonna see where the, uh, the active deterrence functions are. So for example, you have alarm sound, which is the audible uh, siren or the messages that you wanted to have them listen to. You're gonna check that box here. And then under the audio here, you're gonna see a 
list of different messages that you can have the, uh, the camera speak, okay? So in this example, I'm gonna select number one, which is you are in the alert area, please leave. Then under the repeat menu here, you can select how many times that message is gonna repeat, okay? So I'm gonna select 10. And then here you see where the alarm light is. That's actually the strobe light on the camera itself. Okay, that's optional as well too, but if you're in an environment where there's not a lot of lighting, then you can go ahead and check that box, okay? And then the blinking time in terms of seconds, how long it's gonna blink for, you can adjust that. So I might just put 20 as an example here. And the brightness, you can always adjust that as well too. So if you're in a very dark environment, you can increase the brightness by adjusting the, uh, the number here. So I'm gonna put that up to 50 as an example. Once you're done there, you're gonna go ahead and click apply. Okay, so we're done at this part here. So next, I'm gonna go into where it says storage. Okay, select the correct camera. Okay, now what you have to do is you have to enable two different types of recording schedules. Otherwise, it's not gonna be able to uh, play back the footage that you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and select enable schedule. And then here under edit, I'm going to select the schedule to become event because uh, after deterrence, you know, the analytics, that's considered an event, okay? Then I'm gonna go ahead and copy to all the days that I want. Click OK, and as you can see here, the schedule turned to light pink, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and click Apply. Then I'm gonna do the same thing for the snapshot schedule. I'm gonna go ahead and enable, so I'll actually select the first camera. And then I'm gonna go ahead and enable it, make sure that's checked. And then again, verify that the schedule is light pink. So again, you do that by going to Edit and then under the uh, event, make sure that's selected, and then again, copy to all the days that you want, and then click OK. And then once you're done there, go ahead and click Apply. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and double check my settings, okay? And then once that's done, I'm gonna go back to the live view mode, and as you can see here, the yellow intrusion detection area that I drew around this concrete area is visible because I enabled that intelligent mark checkbox. Then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna right click on the menu, go to the preview mode, and then switch it from normal to smart. Reason why you wanna do that is because when you have that, then you can see the snapshots of the people that you're taking on the right-hand side here, okay? You're also gonna to wanna to go ahead and go to the gearbox here, and then under the smart intrusion prevention, which is the analy analytics that I selected, I'm gonna check the box where it says display intrusion detection info, okay? And then under the target type, I'm gonna go ahead and select pedestrian because that's the object I'm gonna pick up. Once you do that, you're gonna click, go ahead and click okay. And now I'm gonna show you the active deterrence in action. As you can see here, you see the person slowly approaching the detection area. So there's a green box around him. As he gets closer to the camera, you notice that that box turns red. So that means it picked him up. And as you can see here on the right hand side, it picked up his snapshot. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that snapshot and then you can see a video clip of him walking towards the area, okay? And then you'll notice here, there's some information here. So it shows it as intrusion detection, which is the analytics that we set up, the IP camera channel, the timestamp, and also the object type, which is pedestrian, okay? So that's the quickest way to find the video clip. Another way you can actually do that is by going to the main menu and then going to VCA. Under VCA search, you're gonna go ahead and select behavior search and then select camera as the one that you want, which is D2 of this example. Then, of course, you're gonna select your time frame that you're looking at. The event type will be the intrusion detection because that's what we used. The object type will be the pedestrian because that's the object that we detected. And then we're gonna click search. Then as you can see here, the latest snapshot here is him being picked up. So when you click on it, click the play button, you're gonna see him, same video clip of him walking towards the camera getting picked up, okay? And again, you see the same information, the channel, the timestamp, object type and the uh, event type which is intrusion detection. And that concludes our tutorial on how to set up the active deterrence on the Uniview system through the web browser interface and on the NVR interface. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel so you can get notified on all the future videos. Thanks for watching.